This is a bunion. This is a corrected bunion. This is a bunion with hammer toes over it. As you can see, four hammer toes here. Here's a bunion corrected with the corrected four hammer toes. Here's what a bunion is. It's not an extra bump just like this growing on your foot. It's not a tumor. It's an actual spreading of the bones in your foot. And when this does happen, you can see the big toe comes across underneath the second toe. And usually the lesser toes have nowhere to go. So they get pushed up and they start to form lots of different hammering type uh, conditions. So you got your claw toes, your mallets, your curly toes, different causes, but the bottom line is you correct them roughly the same. So there's big bunions and there's little bunions. Obviously there's different procedures. So for a smaller bunion, you could do a smaller correction. For a bigger bunion, you can do a bigger correction like this. Obviously this takes a little bit longer to heal from. For hammer toes, you could do small corrections. So small little pokes, you could even just poke with a needle and lengthen some of the tight tendons. Or you could put pins in there and co correct it along with the bunions right here. So you could put plates on. These are for more severe cases. So here's hammer toes and bunions and f fifth toe bunionettes and hammer toes right here, all being corrected all in one case. So obviously something like this you might have to wear a cast, but there's ways around that. In our clinic, nobody gets a cast necessarily. So there's no real disabilities as far as not driving for net many months. And as far as getting it wet, there's ways around that, as you can see right here. Casts, I'm not a big fan of them. You know, we like to keep people moving almost immediately, no matter what the procedure. So there's ways around that. There's ways to take pressure. There's ways to keep you balanced and mobile. So most, most bunion surgeries, the vast majority, it's a small incision and you can basically be healed and back into a normal pair of shoes within 10 days. So this is what the first week post-operative check looks like, a little bit of bruising from the surgery. And then a few months later, you're completely corrected. So this is what it looks like in the meantime. First couple weeks, you have stitches, then stitches are completely gone at about two weeks and then everything's healed up within a few months. You have dressings on for the first few weeks, then we transition you to band-aids. And this is what it looks like during the worst times during the first couple weeks. And then you're back into a pair of shoes. So here's the recovery process. Sometimes it can be up to two to six weeks. We try and keep it closer to two weeks. No driving, it can in the worst cases be up to six weeks if it is your right foot. If your left foot, you don't have to worry at all unless you drive stick. Pain medication, same thing. Usually it's a couple days, but some people need it a little bit longer. And being back in shoes is quick. It's not as long as it used to be. It used to be closer to the 60 days, but now for most people, it's closer to the 10 days. So come check us out at michiganfootdoctors.com and see how we can help you with your bunion. If this helped you at all, please visit our website where you can get even more information. And if this video did help, uh, give it a like and a share, and we'll see you soon. This is michiganfootdoctors.com.